put a little video together to show our new vlogging setup. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. I didn't realize when we were carrying around the GoPro that like if a big wind come up and we're talking, you can't hear us. It would go down on the volume, but it would come back up, but it was after the fact that it was done, gone. And I love giving y'all videos. It makes you look at everything different. I probably, I really thought when I first started doing this video thing, I was gonna miss out on everything because I was trying to video it, but it really enhances our experience more because I get excited when things happen and we get to share them with you. When we first started, I was trying to use my Nikon and I had a big microphone on it. You know, I work out. I don't need another workout with my arm. It was just uncomfortable. It made filming not so enjoyable because I'm walking around with this thing. There was just no easy way to carry it. And it's heavy. I mean, it's heavy. So that's why when we went on our trip, I decided I was gonna use the GoPro. I was like, oh, I know that it's probably not gonna be perfect, but it's okay. And then after going back and I'm going through and editing our video, so much of us talking is messed up from the wind coming up and stuff. You can still hear us, but it's not perfect. And I'm not looking for perfection, because if I was, I would carry that around. But I would like it as close to perfect as I can get it and still be comfortable. So, I got a metal case for my GoPro, and then I got a mini road mic and then you have to go GoPro makes you get this big O adapter. What in the world are they thinking? People carry around a small GoPro not to carry around one of these big O things on there while you're trying to hook a mic up to it. <laughs> that part of my setup I don't like but I think I made it really work. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to tell a big difference. Right now, I've been doing it without, with just the mic off of the Hero 6. I'm fixing to plug this up and let you see if you can tell the difference once the mic is hooked up. Now, I'm using the Rode mic. It's hooked up. It's really compact. I'm gonna video with my other camera and show you what it looks like. So here is my new setup, and I'm probably not gonna be quite as clear because I'm going behind the mic at this point, but you can see the setup. I'm hoping you can see this good. This is the piece that you have to have that GoPro makes you to have the adapter for that to go in. Then I just zip tied it to the piece that holds the mic on. For me, I just thought that was probably going to be the best scenario. Another thing that I love about this is it has a cap cover so that I was bad about on the other one, I would touch the screen a lot. At least this, when I'm not using it, I can have the cap cover on it and be able to cover it up. The mic wanted to kind of fall forward a little bit and you would be able to see the fuzzy in my shot. I put another zip tie and it kind of holds this down too. It holds the mic up because like I said, it was wanting to flip over just a little bit. And it's just because this is such a wide angle of view that you can see it. So I'm really excited and ready to, and I'm sitting here playing with this, it's probably making my audio messed up. 
I'm really excited to see how it works out in the wind. It's just not windy today. But before, if I <laughs> came up and then I started talking, it would go straight down. So hopefully now it's not doing that. And we'll have better audio for our next videos. I just wanted to give y'all a little update on our new vlogging setup. I'm sorry for the rest of the videos <laughs> that the audio is messed up on. Um, and the, the, the video of um, Hanging Lakes, it's not so bad at the Hanging Lakes one, but the video, there was some video footage that of the uh, Royal Gorge. Okay, after we had the incident with Billy the Kid, I'll do a link up there. After that episode where the whatever it was made the sound in the mic, after that, I had a gimbal, and the gimbal ended up, my husband laughs at me, I, I think it was possessed, because if you listen in all my videos that I did after that, that had that gimbal, the gimbal was making a horrible noise, and it did not make not one noise before that. I had to return it. It was so bad. We ended up, I figured it out after we did the Hanging Lakes, because I went back and watched the video, and I heard it in the video. After that, we didn't use it anymore, so, so we went to shaky footage, but we didn't have the audio was better. So I hope y'all enjoy the rest of our videos. Um, we really don't have any trips coming up, but I was going to probably try to do some more how-to videos, but we hunt, and our camper will be gone to the hunting club for the hunting season, and I love video, and when I'm hunting, I have so many videos on my phone, so I want to take my GoPro in video some for y'all while I'm hunting. So I'm probably gonna do some of the hunting videos and what goes on at the hunting club and what we do and stuff at the hunting club, a few videos of that. Hey, I recorded the video about my camera and how it's all set up and everything now. This morning I uploaded my video about the train and I had someone ask what video editing program that I'm using. I figured I would do a little video on that real quick. When I first started out editing videos, I used Filmora. It's on sale right now for $59.99, but it's normally $60.99, and that's a lifetime. So once you get it, it's yours. You can buy, it comes with a ton of effects. You can do some really cool things with it. It's very user-friendly. I mean, it is so user-friendly. After probably four or five videos or, or six, I wanted, I like, I kept seeing stuff about Adobe, and I was wanting to do that, and I needed Adobe anyway for my uh, real estate to do my, uh, to edit my photos. Not that I'm, like, editing them, doing anything to them, but I just like to color grade them. Adobe, you have to pay by the month. It's $19.99, I think it is, a month, and then you have the whole cloud. There's all kinds of different programs. There's After Effects, which I'm not learning how to use that yet. Um, I'm just starting to learn the Premiere Pro CC. It's um, very, very hard. When I first bought it and started using it, I thought, I'll never be able to use this because Filmora was so easy and you could do really a few cool things. Premiere... Adobe Premiere is just takes it to the next level and there's like a lot of stuff you can do but just the simple task of little things in it is a long process and for me trying to remember each process starting out Filmora amazing I would so recommend it and I probably would have kept using it but then I kind of got where I wanted a little bit more and do a little bit different stuff and that's why I decided to try out the Adobe. I've been doing the Adobe for probably like two three months and I'm starting to get it now and I'm actually starting to watch videos on more things to do but you can't do that in the beginning just learning the basics it's kind of complicated. I really was gonna give up after I had one video the first video I tried to edit and I was like messing with it and for a week and I was just I was about to give up and then finally I decided to just start looking up things like B 
beginning in this and trying not to learn it all at once, which is impossible. And it started working for me. Also, for my videos, I use uh, Epidemic Sound. It's a royalty-free website. It's monthly payment. And it's $15 a month. But there's really no good places to get free music. And they have thousands and thousands of songs on there. So I get almost, like, I can't think of anything that I hadn't got but it from Epidemic Sound. I really like Epidemic. So just to do videos, I pay $19 a month to Adobe Premiere and $15 a month to Epidemic. So those are my two fees that I have to pay for to do video. You could stay with the Filmora. That is a one-time fee. It's up to you. But look at both of them. They're both great. Until next time.